Hello and welcome to video lecture series on microwave tubes. In this video, we will try to obtain expression for output power, output power and efficiency of reflex klystron oscillator. So, as we have followed, also we will obtain a relationship between anode and repeller voltage during this video. As we have obtained uh, output power and efficiency for two cavity klystron amplifier, similar approach we will use to find out the expression for output power and efficiency in reflex klystron oscillator. But before we move ahead, as we have discussed the operation of two, uh, uh, sorry, reflex klystron oscillator in our earlier video, and we know that the output will be uh, available only for the specific uh, time duration that is during the positive half cycle. So, for maximum output, or we will say for maximum or maximum energy transfer for maximum energy transfer the round trip transit angle the round trip transit angle for maximum energy transfer the round trip transit angle referring to the center of punch referring to the center of bunch must be given by must be given by so round trip transit angle we have derived in last uh, video it is omega t2 minus t1 so it should be equal to omega t0 dash this is DC transit time into n minus 1 by 4 into 2 pi. So, when we have discussed about the characteristics power versus frequency relationship of reflex crystal oscillator, we said that this is n equal to 2, this mode is n equal to 3, and this is n equal to 4. So, what does it mean? For every cycle, we get the output during positive half cycle only and this can be repeated after or you can say in integer multiple of the 2 pi so during this positive during this positive peak again next positive peak will come and will get the output so that will goes on so this is actually from reference if i recall you one cycle plus 3 by 4 that is if we put n equal to 2 in this case, let me tell you, if I put n equal to 2 in this case, if n equal to 2, so n minus 1 by 4 would be 2 minus 1 by 4. So it is 7 by 4. So that is 1.75. That means 1 cycle plus 3 fourth cycle. So that is the thing. So n equal to 2 means 1 3 by 4 mode means 1 cycle plus 3 by 4 cycle or you can say n minus 1 by 4 or you can say n minus 1 by 4 where n can be any integer. If n equal to 3, it is 3 minus 1 by 4, so it is 11 by 4, so that is 2.75, so 2 cycles plus 3 by 4. So this way you can understand 1 3 by 4 mode that is n equal to 2. 2 3 by 4 mode that is n equal to 3 and 3 3 by 4 that is n equal to 4. So this way for every cycle we get the output during specific uh, positive cycle only. So it is equal to this is called as n is any positive integer and this is actually called as some n capital N which is the you can call it as mode number. Okay, so n is equal to n minus 1 by 4 that is number of modes. 
if you multiply inside the bracket with this 2 pi so it is equal to 2 by n minus pi by 2 so with this brief introduction about the uh, condition to get the maximum energy transfer uh, mathematically how we can write for the uh, round trip transit angle and the mode numbers that relation so to write for uh, output power one must know what is the current so we have written current in case of our two cavity klystron amplifier so the same equation we'll write the only difference is that this current is actually when electrons are coming back means uh, moving in negative z direction so the current will be induced when electrons are returning back so actually they are now traveling in negative z direction so the sign would be negative rest of the things are similar to that of two cavity klystron so the total current induced in the cavity we can write i2t is equal to minus i0 minus summation n goes to 1 to infinity 2 i0 jn and x dash cos n omega t2 minus theta 0 dash minus theta g everything is same uh, in in context uh, of this replaced histone similar to that of two cavity klystron discussion is already done when we have uh, written the total current for two cavity klystron so this is the dc component we have fundamental component when n equal to 1 and their harmonics would be n equal to 2 3 4 so and so on so we know that the maximum current would be induced because of the fundamental component only so we'll write fundamental component of the induced current in the cavity is fundamental component of the current induced in the cavity is so that means n is equal to 1 so i 2 and we will consider the beam coupling coefficient minus beta i i 2 so minus minus will become plus so it is 2 i 0 this n will be equal to 1 j 1 x dash cos omega t2 minus theta 0 dash we are neglecting theta g because it is very small in comparison to theta 0 so theta g is very small okay so we are neglecting this theta g so the fundamental component current due to fundamental component will be this and again we are interested in the magnitude of the fundamental component of current is the magnitude the magnitude of the fundamental component is why we are interested in magnitude we are not interested in the frequency or phase information is that because we are interested to determine the output power where we do not require any in, in, uh, information about frequency and phase so that is why we are ignoring frequency and phase and writing for the magnitude only so it is again very much similar to that of two cavity approach which we have done so it is equal to beta i i2 2i0 j1 uh, sorry 2i0 beta i j1 x dash now this is the output current what is dc power supplied by the beam voltage because we are interested to obtain efficiency also so we'll write the dc power supplied by the beam voltage v0 so pdc as we have written for two cavity it is 
v0 into i0. So now <coughs> let us write for output AC power. So PAC output AC power which is delivered to the load is PAC is equal to V into I so voltage will be V1 current would be I2 these are the peak values converting them into RMS so divide by root 2 divide by root 2 so V1 I2 by 2 so this is the output AC power but just now in our last video we have obtained bunching parameter so we'll use that bunching parameter for replace crystal oscillator is beta I V1 upon 2 V0 theta 0 dash and theta 0 dash is actually omega t dash uh, sorry omega t 0 dash so here we have written omega t 0 dash is theta 0 dash so theta 0 dash is omega t 0 dash and that is 2 pi n minus pi by 2 so beta i v1 upon 2 v0 2 pi n minus pi by 2. So from this one can write V1 is equal to 2 V0 x dash upon beta i into 2 pi n minus pi by 2. Now use this V1 in the expression of uh, output AC power. So how we can write output AC power is V1 I2 by 2 so output AC power is V1 I2 by 2 and V1 is equal to and V1 is equal to 2 V0 X dash upon beta I 2 pi n minus pi by 2. What is I2? I2 is 2 I0 beta I j1 of x dash. So write it also 2 I0 beta I j1 of x dash. So we have written for v1 we have written for i2 divide by 2 so cancel out the common terms so 2 can be cancel out from numerator and denominator so it is pac is equal to now 2 i0 v0 x dash and beta i can also be cancelled out from numerator and denominator so it is x dash j1 of x dash divided by 2 pi n minus pi by 2. So this is the expression for output AC power for reflex crystal oscillator. If you are interested to determine the efficiency which is actually output AC power upon output AC power upon input DC power. So it is POAC upon P in DC so this is output AC power 2 I0 V0 X dash J1 of X dash divided by 2 pi n minus pi by 2 and input DC power is I0 V0 so this can be cancelled from numerator and denominator and efficiency is 2 X dash J1 of X dash upon 
2 pi n minus pi by 2. So, this is the expression for efficiency of a flex crystal oscillator. Okay. And as we know the value of x dash and j1 of x dash, we can always calculate them from the Bessel functions. So, those values I will write here maximum value where we get the current uh, induced because of the fundamental component where x dash is having the value 2.408 and j1 of x dash is having the value 0.52. So, using these values from the Bessel function, efficiency is equal to and if n is equal to 2, so it is 2 into x dash, sorry, it is 2 into 2.408 into 0.52 divided by 2 pi into 2 minus pi by 2. So, to solve this, we will get the efficiency 22.7 percent, that is when n is equal to 2. So, this is the maximum electronic efficiency of reflex crystal oscillator. If n is equal to 3, efficiency will drop down to the value of 14.49 percent. If you put n equal to 3, if n is equal to 4, the value will drop down to almost 10 percent. So, this is now clear that if we increase the mode number, if we increase the mode number or the integer n from 2 to 3 to 4, output power reduces and also efficiency is reducing. So, we have seen that there is inverse relation between output AC power and the uh, mode number or you can say the integer n and efficiency is also having inverse relation with this particular number which is the positive integer or even you can say if mode number increasing efficiency is also reducing. So, the next topic we will try to obtain the relation between repeller voltage and anode voltage. Relation between repeller voltage and anode voltage. So, now we are not going to derive any new uh, expression, just what we have used, we will use it, uh, means what we have derived, we will use it and try to prove this relation, V0 divided by Vr plus V0 square is equal to 2 pi n minus pi by 2 square 8 omega square L square into E by n. So, to prove this, where V0 is the anode voltage and Vr is the repeller voltage. So, this is the relation between them. To prove this, we will start with the T0 dash, which is the DC round trip transit time 2 ml V0 upon E into Vr plus V0. We have also seen omega T0 dash is equal to 2 pi n minus pi by 2 in this video itself. Omega T0 dash is 2 pi n minus pi by 2. So, we will use that also. Omega V know that omega T0 dash is 2 pi n minus pi by 2. That is T0 dash is 2 pi n minus pi by 2 or omega. So, comparing these two T0 dash, we can write, you know, uh, 2 pi n minus pi by 2 upon omega is equal to 2 m l e divided by e into v r plus v 0 and this v 0 again we know that it is under root of 2 e v 0 by m. Okay. Now, squaring on both the sides, let us square on both the sides to solve it further to get the required relation. Let us do squaring on both sides. So, it is 2 pi n minus pi by 2 square upon omega square is equal to 4 m square l square e square v r plus v 0 square 2 e v 0 by m. So, now let us cancel out the common terms which we can cancel out. 1 m can be cancelled with this m, 1 e can be cancelled out with this. Okay. So, finally, 
one can write this v0 upon vr plus v0 square is equal to 2 pi n minus pi by 2 square okay this 4 into 2 8 and this 8 will go to the denominator of this side so it is 8 omega square this l square will also go to that side and into the denominator it is 8 omega square l square this 1 e will go up and remaining m will go down to the denominator so it is e by m so this is the relation which we wanted to prove and it is called as relationship between anode voltage and repeller voltage so that is what we have obtained okay now the final form of output ac power there is another form of output ac power output power pac of replaced piston oscillator can also be written in this particular fashion v0 i0 x dash j1 of x dash vr plus v0 divided by omega l and the root e by 2 m v0 so to prove this or to obtain this again we are not uh, doing any new derivation we'll just use the equations which we have obtained and we'll try to prove this so we'll do like this we know that output ac power we have just obtained in this uh, video itself output ac power is is yeah this one two v0 i0 x dash j1 of x dash 2 pi n minus pi by 2 so we'll use this as a starting point 2 v0 i0 x dash j1 of x dash divided by 2 pi n minus pi by 2 and we also know that we also know that the dc transit angle omega t0 dash is equal to 2 pi n minus pi by 2 so therefore we can now uh, rewrite this above equation pi n minus pi by 2 is equal to omega and t0 dash we have obtained in our last video which is the dc round trip transit angle which is actually actually 2 ml v0 upon e into vr plus v0 okay so pac in this equation of output ac power will replace this 2 pi n minus pi by 2 using this term so pac is equal to 2 v0 i0 x dash j1 of x dash divided by omega 2 m l v0 we are replacing this term as this divided by e into vr plus v0 i will take it to the upside vr plus v0 okay now let us replace this v0 using v0 we again know that it is 2 e v0 by m so it would be equal to and we can cancel this 2 from the numerator and denominator so pac is v0 i0 x dash j1 of x dash e vr plus v0 divided by omega m l under root 2 e v0 by m okay so what we can cancel under root e can be cancelled with this e so one under root e will be remaining in the numerator uh, one under root m from here can be cancelled out with this root m so root m is remaining here okay so anything else all right so the remaining term for PAC is actually V0 I0 X dash J1 of X dash VR 
plus V0 divided by omega L. And what is remaining? At the top, we have E. At the bottom, we have 2 V0 M. So I'll write 2 M V0 and all these things are in the square root. So this is what we were trying to have this form of output AC power. So we obtained it. We have not done anything. We have used the available uh, equations of output AC power, uh, then round trip DC transit angle and another form of that we have replaced this term and we have just modified the equations so we got the output AC power in this particular fashion so this can be one of the form of output AC power thank you